box. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. What's in the box? <laughs> uh, Nico will be right back. She's off uh, doing something real quick. So, <laughs> so since we're not opening the box yet, can we like check the corpse, check the hole? Hold up, hold up. Like, no, no, no. You hold up. No, I'm the storyteller. You hold no! up. <laughs> You're a player. So Jimmy swipes at it. Box super tightly sealed. You can hear the pop as the air escapes under it. And Jimmy, without hesitation, throws the lid off. You're, the first thing that hits you is the smell of cigar smoke. Varus. As you open your eyes and... Oh, God, what happened? I was on my way home from work. I had a few drinks. What what happened? Where am I right now? And it's that, that smell of some cigar smoke that, that kind of brings you to your senses. It takes you a little bit. As you open your eyes and you look around, you're in an apartment. You're not in an apartment you recognize. Uh, the room you're in is pretty simple. You're just in a bed. There's a dresser off on the wall. The walls are painted green, maybe? You can't really tell. Uh, and in the corner of the room is a nice little, like, lazy boy chair. And there is a, a gentleman sitting there with a, with a cigar in his mouth. And he is uh, taking a, a deep drag of it. Um, kind of, like, letting it sit for a while. And uh, after it just kind of blows the smoke out of his mouth. And he takes a deep breath. As you get more eyes on him, it's uh, he's wearing just a, a black t-shirt and some jeans, uh, and he's a a, a, a a bald head shaved, and he's uh, just smoking. He kind of like looks over in your direction, and he says, "Ah, good evening." Say anything? You just kind of look confused. Again. Varish genuinely like. Looking to Emmy and uh, Callie because usually nope. they handle weird shit. This is the uh, let me rem uh, let me maybe I didn't make it clear enough. Um, this is the night after your drunk driving incident. Oh, oh flashback! Flashback! flashback. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought like we teleported or something. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Did no one but me catch up? Catch catch that we were having a flashback. <laughs> I guess it was only you. I wasn't very. Uh, I was like cigar was... smoke, and then it sounded like it was only narration to to John. No, it's a dance. It seemed like. Uh, and then it didn't. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I was one hundred percent on board. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, no, I said Varus. <laughs> Varus wakes up to the smell of smoke. The only thing he's yeah, remembering yeah. is he was on his way home from work last night. Yeah, yeah. He had a few drinks with some of his buddies, and uh, now he's here, and it doesn't make any sense. And um, again, you look over, you see this figure yeah. sitting in the chair, African American yeah. uh, yeah. gentleman, and he he lets out this long drag of a cigar, and he looks over to you. And he just simply says, ah, good evening, Varys. Uh, is it, though? Hmm. Is it, though? That is a good question. <laughs> Decisions, choices. Sometimes, well, every, every, every day, every second of our life, Varys, we, as people, make choices. And those choices dictate sometimes the next few minutes of your life. Sometimes they dictate the next few months. Sometimes the next few years. And sometimes those choices dictate the rest of your life. Where's you my made... phone? You don't need your phone. Not yet. You'll get it back. Ferris, do you remember what happened last night? Um... I... Who are you? He like takes in a deep breath. What's the name of your sire again? <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> Lionel. Lionel, that's right. You are Lionel. correct. No, he just he says Lionel. Uh, Lionel, you at the bureau? <laughs> <laughs> he, he literally just kind of giggles and takes a long drag of his cigar again. Looks around and then just breathes out the smoke. Ferris, I'm going to ask you one more time, though I, I don't think you do. Do you remember what happened last night? 
it was um, a yellow light, but I was running late. Um, so I tried to make it through, but you didn't. So you're you're not with the bureau. He just shakes his head as he takes another long drag of the cigar. Different agency. He blows the smoke out, kind of like Tilton said, sorta. Shit. Oh fuck. Uh no. There was nobody in that. Fuck. There, people were in that There's, car. There's you. Oh you, shit. You made one of those decisions last night. Oh Varys. fuck. Take a breath, Varys. Sit. Don't get up. Oh my god. You made one of those decisions. One of those decisions that won't affect you for a minute or a week or a month or a year, but will affect you for the rest of your life. How the fuck am I going to tell my wife? He, uh, oh my god. So you uh, say you say how am I going to tell my wife and he uh, he stands up and he uh, taking a drag of a cigar before putting it into the ashtray. Not out, just leaning it there. And uh, he, he looks to you and just kind of blows smoke out. And then he pulls out a remote control. And there's, a, oh, there's a TV mounted on the wall. And he clicks it on. And the news is there. And the news starts playing. And it says things like, We have more information about the car accident last night on X and X Street. Uh, there was a, it seems to be uh, three deceased. The driver of the... Uh, and, the, and the causation of the accident seemed to be under the influence. A young girl in the car that was collided with, that was T-boned, ended up dying, and the mother started uh, died shortly after her confirmed death. The identity of the driver and those that were... Grandfather? Huh? Grandfather. Gran uh, no, her grandfather is not was not in the car, I thought. She, does, she was an orphan. Yeah. Was it's your grandfather gran in the car? Yeah, he I remember my parents. I, well, I thought your my parents died. I thought your parents when died. No, I, I I mis misunderstood. One death, two deaths. Uh, the driver and the kid, and then a severely injured. Uh, the the driver of the second car. And as as that news kind of plays, uh, he's clearly got a DVR because he hits a button and it goes back and it plays again. And he plays it again, and again, and again. And then he looks at you and says, I think you get the point. And he clicks it. I'm kind of confused about some of the details here. The detail that you're pronounced dead would probably be the one that jumps out at you would be my guess. So, if you're not with any of the, the bureaus, is everybody actually, like, let me guess. Okay, you're holding me hostage here. This is all just like some sort of hoax. And you're just trying to get some shit from me. Is this blackmail? Is this what it is? You just need passwords or something? Varys, you're more valuable than to blackmail. I saved you, in a manner of speaking. Most people, including your family, believe you to be dead. Because yeah, no, no, yeah, it's 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 a hoax. You're you're, and the the kid's okay too, right? He doesn't actually respond to that. It's not a hoax, Varys. Do me a favor. Put your hand over your heart. Feel. Listen. You got a flag? <laughs> he doesn't say anything. You don't believe me that I'm telling you that you're di you died. Feel. Pulse. Check. You tell me I'm dead right now. It's more complicated than that, but one step at a time. So you feel, and you're you're like, fuck, this guy's fucking crazy. You feel him for a pulse, and you sit there, and you you, you can't you can't find one. Listen, I'm too fucking stressed out right now. Okay, I can't I can't pay attention. Listen, what is it? What's the angle? What's going on here? Most people won't take this easily and I fully expect it to take you days or weeks for it to come to fruition and, and grasp the intricacies uh, of what I'm about to tell you and I fully expect a man like yourself especially with your background your history and your profession to laugh at uh, what I'm about to say ah, but this is the fun part for me Varys you're a vampire 
kindred. <laughs> 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 Oh, that laugh felt weird. Why did that feel weird? Breathing right, is optional. Where's, where's the camera? Where, where's the camera? Where's the camera? I get it. I get it. I was at a baby shower. I got too drunk. This is a hoax. I get it. Who was it? Who did this? Was this Jimmy? Did Jimmy do this? Jimmy. <laughs> this is Jimmy, wasn't it? This is Jimmy. Jimmy did this. Okay. Where's the camera? Is it... Is that over there? Is that the camera? He doesn't seem he to did. move, and he's just kind of observing you and watching your reaction. No, really, you're you're good. Like I don't know, that's some really good Photoshop shit you got going on over there. I mean, was it CGI or did you take another accident that looked like my car? I mean, you're a good man, Ferris. Mostly, I mean, you did. The act is still going. Okay, so this must be one of those puzzle rooms where I have to like try to find my way out. Okay. All right. Ferris, you're a logical man, right? I want you to think yeah. back about everything that happened last night and logically try to convince yourself that you're in a puzzle room right now. Okay. How would We're you have gotten room. into a puzzle room after drunk driving last night? I was pretty fucking drunk. I know. And he turns the TV back on. I'm aware. Okay, yeah, we got through that part. Is there a clue on there that I need to find? Because I'd rather not watch that again. The truth is hard to swallow sometimes. I have to watch a ton of that shit at work. So I'd rather not watch it at home. You know what I'm saying? Like It's different when you're looking at a crime scene than when you're the one that caused the crime scene. There's a different level of guilt. It's a really fucked up puzzle. Evil gestures. All right. You come with me. And he starts walking to the door. He gets up and he goes uh, walking over, following after you. I imagine walking feels a little different too. Things yeah, bit, it, yeah, everything is, it, as you get up and you move, you know, you th it could just be leftover alcohol or whatever, but you, you're nothing, everything seems a little, just a little different. Um, outside of the, the walking you, you definitely feel like you're more aware of your surroundings than normal, uh, sharper vision, better better hearing and stuff. Nothing that's, it's noticeable, but it's not like I'm a cat, you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. But everything just is a little bit, a little bit different. Mm -hmm. He uh, he opens the door, lets you walk out first, shuts the door behind you, um, and uh, gestures that we're going to head down the stairs. Okay. Uh, goes following after you. I'm so sorry to do this, Mathis, but I'll be back in like 20 seconds. Okay. Maybe, maybe 60. All right. And so we wait because <laughs> we gotta, sorry. we gotta wait. We gotta wait for, uh, him to get back before we get to the next part. Hey everybody, how you doing? Don't you really want to know what's in that box? Yes. Don't you really want to know what's in the box. <laughs> I want to know what this fucking flashback has to do with this box. I know. Don't you want to know? Yeah. Oh. It all's connected. Did you just flip me off? <laughs> Nika <laughs> flipping me off. Oh my gosh. Uh, but first, we have to get through this a little bit. I promise. We you wasted all the time that I had with no lag. And so we <laughs> sat down and I was like, what's in the box? And I just like, all of a sudden, now it's starting to lag again. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this has to happen. So. Rawr. Rawr. I wonder what's causing that for you. My, it has to be, like, outages in the area or something. Like, when I was having massive, like, issues, it was outages in the area. Yeah, it, it's... Is Varus and Torpor be truthful? It, it, it no. just, like, about every five minutes or so. A couple minutes? Yeah, that's weird. All right, welcome back, Maybe Varus. Like it. <laughs> All right, Ferris, we're just waiting at you. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> you guys are heading out the door, and he's walking downstairs. Varys, very few times in my life do I ever tell someone they owe me. And I'd be stupid to tell you that you owe me. But uh, you actually notice as he's walking on the stairs, he's clearly walking with a, uh, a slight limp. Um, he definitely seems not exactly 100% uh, okay. Physically, at the very least. 
Um, and as he's walking down the stairs, he, he turns back to you. I did attempt to do you a favor. What you're about to see and what you're about to witness is not going to make any damn sense. In fact, it's going to, like I said, I fully expect to take a week or two, maybe more, for you to fully understand and grasp and accept what has happened to you. But that news report, that wasn't a lie. You killed a little girl in that accident. It was a head-on collision. She died near instantaneously, and her family member that survived is devastated and alone interrupting me oh, at this no. point i'm actually going he to like survive. oh okay he's dead as well yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, inter like interrupting him i'm gonna like grab him by the shoulder and try to do the whole like whip him around and like push him against the wall i mean seeing that he's limping i'm gonna do it in such a way to like make sure i turn him to pivot on his bad leg so he loses his footing mm -hmm. doing this so you actually go out and make that attempt, and I'm not going to make you roll. Um, though I he may fail. be weak, yeah, basically you, you go to, like, pull him, and he, he, he's walking with a limp. This should, you've done this a thousand times to people who are not walking with a limp. He doesn't even budge. So it's one of those, like... It's like a brick <gasps> wall. Yeah. <sighs> the fuck and i give him like a two-hand shove to like you know his back just like a ball. small like lean forward as he mm -hmm. kind of pushes himself upright kind of straightens out his t-shirt a normal lean or like a michael jackson lean <laughs> a normal lean um and he, he turns to look to you yes i know it's hard to hear that you in a drunken stupor making one of the worst decisions of your life perhaps the worst decision of your life killed an innocent young girl you need to stop saying this shit all right the fuck is the matter with you like i thought this was some sort of game it's never a game at least not yet that comes later fuck who the fuck are you lionel someone that's going to be very important to you for the next few months and he continues to walk down the stairs the fuck is this now i'm actually looking for my gun no i imagine that's also not oh yeah there. not there I'm looking for any of my personal possessions whatsoever. I imagine pockets are empty. Nope. 100% empty. Wallet's like, missing. Gun's missing. His phone is missing. It's all gone. I'm going to punch the wall like th two or three times. Um, you punch it once and with without realizing it. Like, you, you've punched walls in anger before. You're from Boston. It happens. Uh, this, your hand goes, like, makes a big dent into the thing. And you don't think you put that much force into it. Uh, I kind of like staring at it for a few moments, dumbfounded. I'm he continues to walk. He doesn't seem to care. Turn and walk briskly to catch up to him. But it's like mindless following, trying to like absorb what the fuck's going on. Eventually, like he's, he actually stays silent for the rest of the walk and eventually get to a door down on the first floor. And uh, he steps to the side and kind of gestures to the door. But everything you've done, I've been able to rectify in my way. Past that door is your guilt, but also your new life. Much like I am going to take care of you, you are going to take care of what's behind that door. And you will do so because I tell you to. Holy shit. Are you Peter? <laughs> no, are you, are you St. Peter? Oh, he thinks so. Was St. Peter replaced at some point in time? Is this supposed to be the fucking gate? Oh, shit. No, you're Lionel, not Peter. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I thought you meant Peter, like P E T A, like the no. organization. I was very confused. <laughs> I, I, I so did not use the accent for most of uh, the session, but that's <laughs> so long I forgot. No, but I'm like, I'm like, ah, uh, shit. Am I in hell? Or is this purgatory? Hell's probably oh. closer to reality than the gates of heaven, Ferris. Oh. F fuck. Now open that door. Oh, I kind of like look at the door and look back down the hallway I just came down. Thinking about For running? Probably too long. Yeah. He doesn't seem to do anything. 
Do you book it? Uh, uh, Varys is not a kind of person that's ever run from his responsibilities. So he like stares down the hallway and he's like hard tempted. Hard. And Varys has also never really believed he's been dead in his life as well. So yeah, fair enough. He's a hard tempted, but then he kind of like looks back at, at um, uh, Lionel. At first, it's kind of just like a confused, pathetic look. But then after a few moments, like he could see like his eyes kind of like locked down. Like he's like, I'm not going to take your shit. And his jaw kind of like locks. And he's like, no, fuck this. Like this is obviously not exactly what it seems to be. I'm just going to figure this shit out. And we're going to we're gonna figure this out. And so he turns and he grabs the knob. There's that like moment or two of pause. Mm -hmm. And then he turns it and he goes to walk in. What you step into is a child's bedroom. Pink, really cute, little teddy bears and around, a bed. Um, however, while that may be the first thing that would jump to you on any normal occasion, what sits before you is something that your brain really doesn't understand, nor does it process. A little girl, maybe no more than, what, six, seven, eight years old or nine years old, however old uh, Emmy ends up being, is hunched over a corpse. At least you perceive it to be a corpse. And she lifts her head as the door opens. And as she like lifts her head, blood just is pouring from her mouth. As she clearly was ravenously doing something to this body. And she and looks like, up. To no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, anime. Uh, so she, she looks up and she's in this nice little like outfit. But the outfit itself is singed and ripped and it looks really beaten up um and and destroyed uh, while your clothing looks like at the very least they're relatively okay these look kind of burned and beaten um and she she looks up with blood dripping from her mouth a, a man just on the floor with this gaping wound in his neck and emmy do you say anything when you look up and see this man you've never seen before standing in the doorway uh, my internet is now messing up. No! <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm guessing, I don't know what happened before, but I did hear you say, like, I, I see Varys, right? Yeah, and so what do you say when you see, with blood dripping from your mouth, this man you're that you've all never nom, seen? You're all nom nom nom. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna look up. So, at this point, have I already met Lionel you have, and all that? So, yeah, Emmy, as far as you were concerned... I went through my stuff already. Yeah, we're, which we'll do at another date, basically. Um... Okay. In case the players aren't aware, because I probably didn't make it clear, everybody's going to have a flashback at some point in the next couple of weeks uh, that'll have pertain to the story and whatnot, including Emmy in her first night. Emmy, you have been with Lionel at this point a solid uh, two to three nights. Um, Varys has been upstairs, though you've never, not allowed, been, you don't know his name. You've not been allowed in the room. It's Lionel's made that very clear. Uh, and you are, have been doing a uh, kind of feeding off of whatever blood he's basically given you up until this oh, point. Okay. This is the first uh, time he gave you somebody that was live. To do I have, yeah. Do I have powers? Right no, now? not yet. They have, he has not okay. had time to train. Then I look up all. and I say, are you dinner or are you dessert? <laughs> so Varus is only of average intelligence, two dots, but he's got four dots and wits. He's actually pretty quick. He knows what was set upstairs. Mm -hmm. He realizes the outfit, everything else, the I've that's your guilt and blah, blah, blah. He puts two and two together. He's pretty quick with that kind of stuff. And so um, he kind of looks at her, looks at the fact that her face is dripping. He was obviously told he's a vampire. She must have been made one as well to and save the, her life. And for the sight of blood for the first time, like seeing blood in front of you, Varys, Mm -hmm. that this is a feeling you've never had in your entire life. It's hunger, but it's hunger and an intensity and, and, a, and, a, and a power that you've never felt before. And the only Whoa. thing that you it, that, that seems to be on your mind is the blood in front of you. I was going to say, I've seen porn, so, you know. <laughs> no, hunger <laughs> like porn. <laughs> um, so anyways, so... Uh, but you, uh, you can I, control, you have control of yourself. Mm -hmm. Immediately, like... I, I would actually ignore the blood at first just because of the other instincts that I have immediately. Mm -hmm. I would rush over uh, to to the little one that's on the ground and because the person was on a bed, right? I'll grab like the corner of the sheet of the bed and just try to like go over to, to the little one and just start trying to like clean up her face. 
and be like, no, 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 it's a, it, it, it's okay. I'm no, I'm, I'm not. I'm here to help you out. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm here to help you. It's, it's fine. Oh, what are you gonna help me with? Um, uh, right now you're a little bit of a mess, and so we're gonna clean you up, and, and then we'll kind of see where things go from there. It's okay. C- c- come here, come here. Let me help you with that. And like, I, I literally just like help her like clean up really quickly and it's like I'm, I'm treating her like she's even younger than she really is so i'm sure this is like i'm not that young sort of you know but like i'm trying to like really be doting instantly i think she's kind of okay with this because she's and she's like a little confused but she kind of like lets you do it. she's like whatever like kind of uh and a little high from the feeding blood she just yeah from feeding and also, she hasn't had an interaction with, like, another person, before, like, in a while, so. Yep, only Lionel. That is it. Uh, yeah, this person that you fed on was given to you in an uncon- already unconscious state. Um, and if it isn't clear, you killed him, this is where you lost one of your humanity. Nope. Um, um, I, I got that because of her backgrounds. Yep. So um, I, I ask her, I'm like, so after I'm, like, done cleaning her up a little bit or whatever, uh, I, I ask, what, what's your name? I'm Amelia. Amelia, that's such a cute little name. I- I'm Varys. Hi, Varys. Hi. Um, how long have you been here? And I'm actually going to kind of like step, try to step like, and I know she's obviously like right there. So I might be even semi nudging or whatever, try to step between her and the corpse. So like her attention will be on me and not on the corpse. If that seems too difficult, then we'll just narrate it as I go the opposite direction. So her back is to it. Well, it's up to Emmy. Emmy, uh, yeah. you're pretty damn full. You've you've drained him completely, um, so it's up to you if if he nudges you away or not from the body. But your hunger is sated. Okay, uh, sure. I move. I I move slightly. Um, what was your question again? Sorry. I, I you, you told me your name and then I said I'm Varys and you said hi Varys. I'm like hi. Um, so uh, I don't, actually I, don't, I may have said afterwards. Um, how long have you been here? That's it. Oh, that's what you said. Uh, do I know how long I've been here? Yep, you you know it's like I said. You know it's probably been around two or three days. Um. Or yeah, so the accident happened like two or three days ago. By the way. Like two or three days. I go to check my watch to check the date, but my watch isn't there. Yep, correct. And I'm like, oh, um, have, and I kind of look to the doorway to see if uh, Lionel's there. Is the door open? Closed? Is there? Lionel's no? standing in the doorway, just watching the interaction. I, I look over at Lionel and I say, has Lionel been nice to you? Um, I didn't realize, I didn't notice Lionel there at first because I was just distracted by this. And so before, like, before even answering him, she like runs up to him and she's like, because he's told her to call him father. She's like, father! And she like runs up and she like hugs his leg. Mm-hmm. And uh, he kind of like ruffles your hair as you do so. He doesn't, uh, Varys looking, he doesn't seem like he's smiling, but, uh, he does rub, like, ruffle her hair in a very, like, playful manner. Um, uh, and, she runs and then over. she turns to look back at you. While she's hugging him, like, watching this, and probably, like, just before she turns, I'm gonna look, uh, him in the eyes. I imagine he looks back. And then it's just gonna be, like, one of those, like, I had my locked jaw and everything. At this point in time, I just, like, give a single appreciative nod to uh, to him mm-hmm. and, and Lionel looks back at you and he just kind of has like a, a little bit of a smirk and he says guilt is a hell of a motivator um I'm gonna go over to to Emmy and say so you're not hungry what do you like to do for fun um Emmy's like still holding on to Lionel's leg and then she looks up at him and she's like you brought me a friend <laughs> He again, like, kind of. He looks down at you with smiles, and uh, he he looks back to Varys. Says, "Emmy, I'd like you and uh, Varys here, your new friend, to get to know one another. You're gonna be with Varys for a very, very, very long time." I swallow a hard lump when he says that, and uh, he he kind of like, and he plays with the hair a little bit, and then he steps away, and he kind of walks off and like, expects you and 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 uh, Varys to to discuss with one another. Yeah, so Emmy, again. like, goes over to, like, this t- tiny table with, like, two tiny chair- chairs, and uh, she starts, like, setting a tea table. <laughs> That's awesome. As a Lionel walks away, one of the things he does, kind of turn back, and he says, Varys, remember, 
Decisions dictate every moment of our life. Make the right one. And uh, I, 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 I don't react to it whatsoever. I just kind of he. And then we cut maybe. from the flashback as you see Varys and Emmy sit down at a tea table, getting ready to have a tea party. The box <laughs> is loose. The lid is loose. Jimmy flips open the lid to this box with Caligari right there, eagerly looking over it. And Varys and Emmy right on the other side looking in. And inside this three foot wide, like one, uh, three foot long, one foot wide, airtight sealed box sits a desecrated corpse. Its legs and arms chopped off completely, burned completely from head to toe. Writing around its neck in dried blood in a language not any four of you understand. It is crisp and, and destroyed and mutilated in, in, in ways unimaginable. And it is very clear to at least the, the four of you that this is a vampire of some sort. And it makes sense because Caligari, in your mind, knowing politics and occult, for a vampire puts himself into torpor for that long. The only way they're going to wake up is with some incredibly potent blood. And most of the time, you know, vampires won't willingly give themselves over to be drained unless it's a special occasion or it's been pre-planned or, or, or a deal has been made in some way. This corpse sits there and you know that the plan should be to take the corpse, drain what blood is inside of it to the mouth of this, this uh, Raphael Pope, and mm -hmm. eventually have the Pope kind of come to life and, and drink it himself. However, before any action is taken, it is also very clear to Emmy and Varys this is the corpse of their sire. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is Lionel? It is Lionel. Uh, He's barely yep. recognizable. Oh, um... Mm -hmm. His arms and legs were moved completely and uh, burned from head to toe. Nay, nay. Nay, nay. That, that shit can heal. If that's Lionel, like that, that's legit Lionel, I'll uh, immediately rush over to the box and just like probably a way higher pitch than I've ever said it before. And with a lot of frantic noise and uh, Emmy! And, and like make my way over to the, uh, the box really quickly. Yeah, and Emmy was like over the other corpse of uh, the Pope, like, messing with the the stake. stake. And then when she hears that, she's, like, she, like, looks over and she kind of, like, runs over to the to the box. And I go to try to feed uh, Lionel anything I can of myself. Sure. You do so. Uh, it, it clearly drops into, like, his mouth that is, like, jaw is, like, displaced and whatnot. Uh, however... Whether you're not, your blood is not potent enough or, or what have you, nothing comes of it, uh, at least immediately. Mm hmm. Um, uh, uh, and, and he's yeah. like, whoa, 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 and like kind of kind of pulls at your arm a little bit, not not too committedly, but like sort of in a think about what you're doing way. Diablerie like, and all that's fucking. He signed up for this, man. He was at the meeting. No, no, I did no. This is no. Why? 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 No. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I looked at Callie. And, em and Emmy, like, before, like, whenever she <laughs> ran over, was like, Father! And she, like, she's, like, holding him and kind of, like, crying probably at this point. What is Caligari doing? That now knowing that this is their sire and there's writing around his neck and dried blood that is of a language you don't understand. If I don't understand the language... Yeah. Uh, she's just uh, nothing. She's just staring. Almost like um, a heartless, like, what do you care? Like, what do you care kind of situation? Not really, just kind of like a little confused. She okay. knows that other people are having um, a lot of troubles. She can't parse it. Um, she doesn't really understand, despite it being a poli political kind of thing. Mm -hmm. She's not really getting what, what's actually happening. Yep. So she's, she's in information taking mode. Okay. Um, so no it's problem. just kind of shut down, just. Not yep, you're doing your Nosferatu to absorb it and lock yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Understood. So, Emmy and Varys sitting there. Jimmy says he signed up for this. Continue, please. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to make sure I knew what everybody mm -hmm. was doing. Emmy, the fuck is this? We can't do this shit. 
Um, I don't, I don't think I would know anything about this, right? Like, this is shocking to me. This is shocking. It does make sense that Jimmy said he there. There's a good chance that mm-hmm. uh, that he signed up for this, but he never told you. No one told you, but again, machinations of kindred society politics. You're still very new to it. I would think that he would tell me because we were close, right? You were close. Okay. But um, Vam- he, he might not have told you. You don't. I mean, it's it's hard to know. You could. I mean, might think he he would have told her. Yeah, I guess you can't really. She just says stuff, but like under like sobs, so you can't really understand anything she's saying, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Varys not crying, but um. Looks to Jimmy because Callie's kind of like spaced out and just like absorbing, so just like trying to like assess the situation, sort of a thing. He looks at Jimmy and he's like, Jimmy, how the fuck can this be a thing? What reason would they have for this shit? We just saw him days ago. This guy could be really important. Like I'm gesturing to the the other desiccated vampire corpse, like yeah. This guy could be really important. Who gives a shit? If he was so important, why does he have a... Like a gesture at Lionel's Lionel's body. Somebody, apparently, somebody gives a shit. Uh, I'm I'm gonna... I'm taking... I I stride forward. Cal is making her move. Sure. Um, Does she know how this whole thing happens? How to feed one vampire? Yeah. To so basically, one? what has to happen? A blender. Um, yeah. <laughs> basically, what has to happen is um, the blood of one vampire has to go into the mouth of the other. Uh, in the case of Raphael as well, the stake needs to also be removed from his heart. He has one in his heart. This, this, uh, the sire uh, Lionel does not have a stake in his heart, but he's not dusted, which clearly means he's still alive. Well, alive. Quote, quote. Okay. Um, Cal it removes the stake from. Uh, from a Raphael. dude's heart. Yep. That's that's her first move. Okay. And that's it for now. Okay. So you guys pulls react the, is pulls the stake out. Yep. When she pulls the stake out, do you think I would gather what she's doing? Like she's preparing to finish this ritual? Probably. It, Var- Varus is zero you, occult. I so. mean, Cal is inscrutable, you know, like she she that's true. You would have no idea why or what is why that's important. It could Technically, be anything. I have a negative one to a cult. So with plus okay. two, okay. Um, oh. Actually, it's if it's unskilled, you're negative three. Yeah, um, exactly. Uh, so you have zero idea, like Ben. So um, yeah, uh, I I take the stake out. You don't know what's going on yet. Okay, I'm just gonna, gonna I'm just gonna kind of like watch. Like, like maybe Callie's gonna idea because Callie knows weird shit. So I'm just gonna like, watch a lot of weird shit. So I'm gonna Actually, watch it's... hopeful, like, like a happy that Callie's doing something. Okay. Um, how, I'm how gonna... about this? We take both corpses back to St. Clair. Yeah, I don't think they'd like that either. I, I don't, I don't. I mean, what? Fuck. What is the same know. result, right? Oh, fuck. We're supposed to deliver this guy. Let's deliver the guy. Tell them they can fucking do it themselves. We're not going to kill, like, gesturing at Lionel. Like, he doesn't even want to say the name because he doesn't want to make Emmy more upset. Kind of, obviously, he's like... Uh, yeah, and Emmy's still like, why would they do this to him? <laughs> they never said a wick, did they? Like, trying to, like, like claw through my own thoughts and, and hopeful from the situation. They never they never said a wick, did they? No? I looked at Callie. I have no idea. Um, she pulls out a ninja. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. She's She takes the stake and she's like kind of putting it into like her vampire arm that she has. And she's like, I don't know. Just kind of trying to wiggle it around. Um, she's, she's a little distracted by that. But um, she's also trying to make light of it because there's a lot going on. Um, oh, God. I have to be a decision maker here. Yeah. I, I go over to um, the... I go over to Lionel, the yep. presumed body, mm-hmm. and I kind of shake it a little bit. Sure, you shake it. 
It shakes. Is it, is it slosh? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you um, know that there's blood in there, more or less. I, right. It's easy I, I for you to understand because, like, they did say, like, this is for yeah. him. Yep, you I, pick, I pick it, up. it up. So you see Callie pick up the body. The head lifts back as you lift it up under its own weight. Some of the pieces of skin kind of slosh off because it was burned. Um, but you pick it up. If she starts walking over towards the other one or whatever, I, am. I would jump up and kind of grab her by the shoulder. Not, like, super aggressively. Just, like, grab her by the shoulder to stop her and be like, Callie. I stare back. Just complete blank face. Like, this is what we're here to do. Also, I'm a little excited to see it happen. So, like, <laughs> no no lie. <laughs> She's like, okay. Like, kind of down. Um, <sighs> the weight on this is, is, is a little much for her because she actually does enjoy her sire quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And if yours is, um, is, is gone that direction, then she needs to really talk to Zigzag and just be like, all right, are you also going to die? Because you can just warn me about this. Like, <laughs> she's, please, please don't show up in a fucking box is kind of like her thought. Or she'd be like, uh, um, but yeah, Kelly, she's. Kelly, despite what Jimmy said, he, why would he be like this if this is a choice? Mathis, will, you, will you make him roll for me? Will you make him roll to, to manipulate the shit out of me? You're welcome to do so. I, if, he, um, if she tries, like, I'm on the body, like, h hugging it. So if you're, are you trying to take the body? Yes. Yeah, she's uh, lifting it. I will command you to stop. Okay. Uh, I don't have my I book don't know if with work. me. Yeah, well, it's a contested roll. So if you're commanding her, you have to roll, and she has to roll something in bat in return. Let me get the book. I think it's a roll. Uh, I have it. Hold oh, on. Oh, okay. Um, I roll intelligence plus intimidation plus dominate and versus your resolve plus blood potency. So do it up. Oh shit. <laughs> Nothing about this is going to be good. Fuck everything. That's D &D, though. You never know. You could roll incredibly. Uh, I have a possibility of two total. Hey, you never know. Hey, oh, you never know. I was, oh, okay, you got one. I was just saying. I was just saying. Don't forget, you can use willpower to throw three more. Wait, that was just. Ro you got to add one more dice to that. You rolled. Resolve plus blood potency. Yeah, did but I get... it, did it roll? My blood, blood potency, potency is that? one, and my resolve is one. <laughs> right, right. But I think it only rolled resolve. It looks like. Am I correct, Scott? That looks like it only rolled resolve. I it clicked blood roll. potency. Correct. So just roll one more, one more d10, uh, Caligari. Throw one more out there. That's funny. It doesn't really. Right. Okay. See, yeah, it it, it doesn't it it's not working. That's really funny to me. Um, I'll just roll day. another resolve. How about that? Yep. As long as you there. just roll one more d10, you're good to go. Bonk. So what happens when you tie? Oh god, it's a tie. Uh... And you're small. <laughs> sort it out there. You're a little lower than me. I'm I'm gonna keep going. Anyone else can contest this, but I'm gonna make this happen. The contested role and subject does not obey. Okay, so Caligari, she looks you in the eyes, and this is a look you've seen her give many and a people. And I was using, and I was using my emotional appeal, so I was trying to be like, you were trying, yeah. You wouldn't do this with your, uh, you know, like what would you do if this was your sire instead? Or what? I actually know your sire's name. Zigzag. Uh, <laughs> yeah, zigzag. He's nice. So like, yeah. Yeah, and she would do the same thing. She would totally do it. <laughs> she's like she so get, let, like she, let's uh, role play that out because i think like okay. that this is like so that's what really she asked important moment for me because this is like this is my sire mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. um yeah so uh okay i'm like i'm holding my sire and i'm like what no or i'm like stop you wouldn't you would you would do the same if it was for zigzag wouldn't you she just shakes her head now I was almost going to do something really fucked up, but I didn't. Um, okay. <laughs> but, oh, God. Um, why? why? Oh, I, ha I, have, I have emotions now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to. Going to what? She takes the rat out. This little mouse and holds it by its head. And squeezes it. And kills oh, it. Oh, Kelly! That is <laughs> Amazing, Nika! I love you. <laughs> that is a hell of a point to be made, right? Oh Tiddlywink is out. Oh, and she drops it. 
Oh. I hope I get another fucking rat, by the way. Oh. There will be oh, many, God. but she drops it. All right, And then that's out. it. She's, she's just holding. Yeah. We're, we'll, we'll recover that after the break. I'm dropping frames. Okay.